In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about inverse demand and inverse supply. First, let me draw in a supply curve. It's a supply and the equation that goes with the curve and the demand curve and its associated equation too. The supply curve is price is equal to quantity supplied plus two, which is in the same format that you use in algebra, which is y is equal to x plus two where y is the y-axis instead of price, and x is the x-axis instead of quantity. In economics, equations are often written as like this, which is quantity supplied is equal to price minus 2, which is actually x is equal to y minus 2. Hence, there's confusion, and a lot of students are confused by this concept. Most of your economic equations are going to be written like this, where quantity supplied is equal to price minus 2, and there's a reason for that, and I'll explain why. I'm also in this tutorial going to explain how to get from one of these equations to the other equation. So let's imagine quantity demand is 5, and I'll plug it into the equation, 5 into that equation. So I have price is equal to negative 2 times 5 plus 20. Or price is equal to negative 10 plus 20. So price is equal to 10. So I go up and across, and when quantity supplied is 5, price is 10. So instead of having this equation as p is equal to, p is equal to, I'm going to have it as q instead, q is equal to. And let me show you how to convert this equation real quick. In fact, I'm going to convert it to this form. I'm going to add 2q to both sides of the equation. Those two q's cancel. Then I have p plus 2q. This is equal to 20. Now I subtract p from both sides of the equation. Those p's cancel, so I have 2q is equal to 20 minus p. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation times 1 half to get rid of that 2 in front of that q. Those two q's cancel. So I have q d actually is equal to. Now I take 1 half times 20, which is 10. And now I take 1 half times negative p, which is negative 1 half p. Voila, there I have it. So now let's imagine that I have a price of 12. I want to know what quantity demand is. So I plug in 12. I'll take that price of 12 right there. Now plug it into the equation. So quantity demand is equal to 10 minus 6. So quantity demand is 4. Go over and I go down straight down, and that's 4. In most of your economic classes, you'll know price, so they're going to give you price, so they'll give you price, and you say, what would be the quantity demand at that price? That's why the equation is written in this format. So now let me draw the supply curve back in. And this one is much easier. I'm going to convert it to that form instead. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. Those two cancel out, which gives me quantity supplied is equal to price minus 2, which is exactly as I want it right there. Those are the same equations, of course. So now, Imagine I have a price of, let's say, 8. What will be quantity supplied? I 
take that 8, put it in the equation, and quantity supplied is equal to 6. So price is 8, I go over, and I go down, and quantity supplied is 6 when price is 8. Often you'll know price and you'll want to know quantity supplied or calculate quantity supplied. And that makes it a little easier in this form. Let me draw all these equations and lines and everything back in. And move it around a little bit. Those bottom equations are known as inverse. As in inverse demand and inverse supply equations. So if you have questions or requests or comments, put them in the comments section below. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would encourage you to because I'm always posting new videos.